Hi and hello people, welcome back once again to our channel, Vagai Academy of Mathematics. This session we have a problem from CAT 2022 and this is from Algebra. Now let us see the question. If A and B are non-negative real numbers such that A plus 2B is equal to 6. Okay, so let's uh, take the condition here. So we have A plus 2B is given to be equal to 6. Now looking at the equation itself, the relation between A and B itself, it is very clear that it represents a linear equation. Okay, so that means there is a linear relation between A and B, these two variables. Then what is the average of Okay, then what is the average of the maximum and minimum possible values of A plus B? So, this is going to be the question. So, that means we are supposed to find the average of two values. Which two values? We need to find, we need to find maximum of, maximum of A plus B and also we need to find the minimum of A plus B. So, for these two values is what we are supposed to find the average. Okay, that means these two values, max of A plus B and min of a plus b if i want to find the average of these two values this is like these two values added and the sum is divided by 2 so finally this is what we are supposed to find let us make the structure very clear okay yes now fine at the beginning of the question itself it is very clearly given that a and b are two non negative real numbers okay so that means definitely definitely if we come to plot uh, the axis okay so i'm going to take this uh, x axis as a's representation and y axis as b's representation okay yes then definitely how will be the values of a and b they will be definitely b between these two axes only they are intercepted between the axis okay so so this we can very clearly understand it okay why because why because like if i go lesser than this i mean like below this line it will give me what it will give me the negative values of this uh, uh, B, is it or not? And if I go to the left hand side, it will give me the negative values of uh, A. So, when we clearly try to understand this, it will be clear that the values can take only, uh, I mean, A and B can take values only in this first quadrant. This is what we can understand. Okay, yes, fine. Now, let's take a note of how will be the values because it is going to be a linear equation, linear equation. So, in that sense, I will test the values of A and B by taking each of them to be equal to 0. Now, first I will put A as 0. When you put A as 0, what happens? 2B will be equal to 6, which means B is equal to 3. So, 0, 3 will be a point on that line. Okay. So, where will be 0, 3? 0, 3 means uh, uh, when A is 0, B is 3. Remember that carefully. Okay. So, A is 0 and B is 3. It will be like here. Okay. So, 0, 3 okay this is one point and the other way i will take b as 0 when you take b as 0 you will directly get a is equal to 6 so 6 comma 0 6 comma 0 will be the other line so when a is 6 and b is 0 so this will be like this okay so 6 comma 0 now i will just connect these two points with a straight line now all the points that you see in this line will definitely satisfy this particular equation we can agree with that right it's easy to agree and again, I uh, remind you, we cannot go beyond this one, okay, because it won't give you the non-negative values, because if you cross beyond, you will come to get negative values for at least one of those two variables, right, exact one of those two variables will become negative. So, for that reason, what happens is we will have to take only points which are lying in this portion, region only, yes, fine. Now, we will come to discuss about the value of A plus B and then the maximum of and minimum of A plus B, okay, yes. Now again we can clearly understand something that we can clearly understand a thing that these maximum and minimum values will be lying only in these two extreme positions okay yes now see here here what about the point the point is 0 comma 3 which means a is 0 and b is 3 when you take a is 0 and b is 3 okay take a is 0 and b is 3 now correspondingly a plus b will become what it will become 3 and if you clearly see here this was this will be the least value a plus b can take okay yes and here the next one take this point a is 6 and b is 0 now a plus b will be a plus b will be 6 plus 0 which will be 6 only now this will be the maximum value a plus b can take okay so it is very simple maximum of a plus b will be 6 and minimum of a plus b will be 3 okay yes so that means we are supposed to find the average of these two numbers only you will have a doubt what about the in between points whether we will be able to get a value which will be still more than 6 as less than 3 okay you will be having that doubt in you in your mind running in your mind you can test with any point here okay 
Now for an example, suppose for an example, if I take A as 2, if I take A as 2 here, A as 2 here, then respectively what will be the point here? Just take A as 2 here. When you take A as 2, you will be getting 2, 2B two will become 4, then B will become 2. So you will have 2 comma 2 here. So the respective point will be 2 comma 2, 2 comma 2 will also be lying in this straight line only. But you check what will be the value of A plus B, A plus B will be 4. That 4 is somewhere in between these two numbers only, these two values only. So that's why I said whatever value you choose in this range, those values of A plus B will be definitely lying between these two values only and hence these are the extreme values. So the minimum is 3 and the maximum is 6. That's it. Okay. Now we are supposed to find the average of these two values which means 6 plus 3 divided by 2 will be 9 by 2 which is 4.5. Very simple. So 4.5 is going to be the answer which is there available at option B. 4.5 is going to be the answer for this particular question. I hope the approach, the way we solved is easy to understand for you. Just have a clear look. Again, we'll catch up in some other session with some other interesting questions. See you soon there. Thank you so much.